Hi all, welcome to the Java Talent. In this video, I am going to cover how we can print permutation of distinct string. In the last video, I have created how can we print permutation of a given string like this one. CD if it is given, so it will be a CD DC. And if it will be a ABA, then the output will be this AAB. A B A B A A B A A A A B A B A. That means the permutation. Simply, if it is the three word letter, so it will be three into two sixth value. But in this video, I am going to cover how we can print a distinct value. So our result will be this one, not the repeated value. This is the repeated value. So in this one, I am just going to print the distinct value. So let's go with the code. So you can open your any Eclipse ID or any ID to create the program. So I'm simply using this Eclipse ID and I'm creating a Java project. So permutation of a string, permutation of distinct string, distinct string, fine. So let me finish that. Okay. So here I will create one package com dot java talent. Uh, let me create one class. So I am taking a class name as a string distinct distinct permutation. Okay. So many method has been generated. So here in this video, I am going to cover simple way, same way, whatever we have covered in the last video. But just I will change the concept to print the distinct value only. Okay. So let me create one function. So static void print distinct string. This is the method what I am going to take. So it, this method is expecting to input same thing a string input and then a string result. So whatever I am going to do is if input is empty, then I am just going to return the same string, same value. So if input string is empty. How can we check that? If input dot length simply length method I can use is zero. That means empty string. So I will do is sys out that result. Because I am taking to check, uh, I am just checking this one as an empty string. So I am just uh, returning that as a result and taking a space. So that will be the understandable format. And simply that value I am going to return because there is nothing to return in the method. So for that, I am just returning as a statement. So now what I will do is we need to make a Boolean array of size 26 which will store false value by default and then if there is the pos cg if there is a position of any alphabet is being used then we will make that as the true value okay so let me do that boolean of for example boolean of Alphabets, what I am taking is alphabets. I am just checking for the one alphabet details. So, if Boolean of alphabet new Boolean of 26, 26 character, I am just creating one alphabet Boolean value. If uh, no, we need to go through the loop because we need to go one by one character. So, for INT 
i equal to 0 i is less than input dot length i plus plus what we will know is to do is we needs to check for the i character of this string whatever the i character i character of string so char ch is equal to input dot caret of i this is the i character value and next rest of the thing similar pattern rest of the string after excluding the i character rest of the string excluding i what it will be A string of rest value rest value equal to input dot substring of uh, initial value that means zero and the index i index fine then input dot substring of i plus next value that means the i plus one So let me format it. So I have just used Control Shift F to format the code. Okay. The next is this is the rest of the value, rest of the string apart from the i. Then if the character has not been used, for example, if any character which is coming into this output result which is not used, then we need to make a recursive call. Otherwise, there will be no any recursive call. If a character has not been used, then only the recursive call will happen. Otherwise, recursive call will not be happen. So let me check here. If if the character has not been used, then recursive call will happen. Recursive call will happen else not fine so what we need to check is if recursive call that means our boolean value alphabet if alphabet of character whatever the character is there minus any character letter of a which is false Fine. Then we need to call this one. What we need to pass is rest value as input parameter and then result value plus that character to call this approach. Otherwise, what we need to do is alphabet of character minus that character for example we need to make it as true fine now let me call the main method main method call so here string String str is equal to, for example, Java because there is a repetitive word is there which is repeating, and then I will call this method. What I need to pass is input value that means this str value and the input is string. So call that method. Okay, so what our output will be? Our output will not be repeat uh, having the repeated in, repeating character, repeating string. Let's see. Uh, let's run this program. Okay. Uh, this is the one. See, there is no any repeating character. Fine. See, Java. Let me do that. 
uh, let me remove this uh, print ln. Just I'm just checking print statement and uh, see Java Java J double A V. There is no any printing word. See and let's see uh, last program we have taken A B A. Let's see see what I was expecting. This three character in the earlier program we got this six result as output, but here what we are getting three result because there is the repeated value. See this value as repeated. This one. This is the repeated. This is the repeated value with this one, and this is the repeated value with this one. So it has been removed the repeated value. So that will our program is printing only the distinct value from the result. This is the program we wanted to show you guys. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Please subscribe my channel and like my videos.